let's begin with the question, why should anyone work out? We're all very familiar with a variety of reasons. It makes you feel good, look good, it's healthy for you. But really, it goes deeper than that. Your body is not just a shell for your brain. Your body is what keeps you alive. And in fact, there's a very strong synergy between mind and body. Clearly, having a healthy body helps you having a healthy mind, which performs better in turn. But at the same time, your mind has a very strong power over your body. In any sport, competitive sport, in a race, or simply when you're working out at the gym, your mind is what, is what pushes you beyond the limit, beyond a certain threshold, and what really helps you achieve and be a winner. Fitness should become an integral part of your life, of your lifestyle, really. So it doesn't just begin and end at the gym, or when you're working out, or running, or swimming. It should be any moment of your day. For example, your commute to work could be transformed in a, into an occasion for fitness. If you, say, run or cycle to work, or if you take the stairs instead of taking the elevator, or simply by the energy level that you have in any activity, like just walking around. And it's, this is very important because your body has a, a set of feedback mechanisms that are broken when you have a sedentary lifestyle or if you have, say, processed and artificial food. That's another topic. If you have a healthy lifestyle, it doesn't mean that it shouldn't be a happy lifestyle. In terms of nutrition as well, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't take away the pleasure of having a meal with friends or family or enjoying whatever cuisine you enjoy. So make it an integral part of your life and build those feedback mechanisms that your body has naturally inbuilt. Another question I get asked very often is, how do I make working out part of my routine? I think that that is not necessarily a good question. I mean, having a routine-based lifestyle obviously helps with consistency of your workouts. But really, what happens when your routine is interrupted? Or if you don't have a routine, if you travel a lot, or if your routine is changing constantly, then surely the fact that your workouts are dependent on it means that your workouts don't work when you don't have a routine. Really, you should find a different type of motivation. It should be something that goes beyond the routine. And this is very important because working out and fitness shouldn't be an objective in itself. You should find something that you love doing. For example, if you love tennis or swimming or basketball, then the physical preparation for that will feel effortless. You'll be motivated to keep it up. And you have a final goal, which is different from fitness itself. Obviously, if you love strength training, then the training itself becomes the objective. Like, for example, I love working out. I mean, I don't need to find an excuse not to go. If anything, is the other way around. I need any excuse to go to the gym. So the final objective really should be to create a better version of ourselves. And this is what will help us keep the motivation independent of the routine. So when fitness becomes integral part of your life, you will feel weird without it on a daily basis. It becomes an essential part of your life. Even when you're tired, like for example, when I'm tired, I really feel like going to the gym now. I know it's counterintuitive, but that gives me a lot of energy. It's even better than having a nap. And I think a good way of approaching this is, say you had a long, way, a long day at work, you feel tired, then tell yourself, well, I'm just gonna go to the gym or the swimming pool or the dojo, whatever sport you do, and I'm just gonna get changed, walk in, and then walk out, get changed and go back home. I promise that if you do that, when you're there, you actually do more than you expected. Usually when I feel tired and I go to the gym with no expectation, that's when I get the most results. I don't know why, I guess it's because of the no expectation really. Sometimes I go all pumped and, and then the workout it turns out to be like not so good. In this way, any free moment becomes an opportunity for working out. And if you really want to be fit, I mean, you'll find time for it. I hear a lot of people saying, oh yeah, well, it's all well and good, but I just don't have time for fitness or for working out. Well, I'm not even gonna elaborate on that because there's no point in saying I don't have time uh, for becoming fit. You should really say, I don't really wanna be fit because that's what it is. If you, always, you always find time for what you love doing. And obviously being healthy should be a top priority.